The name of the first female park ranger in the world was Claire Marie Hodges. In the winter of 1918, she was appointed to Rancho San Rafael Park, a 580-acre piece of land in Reno, Nevada. She became a park ranger during World War I after all able-bodied men left to fight, leaving just her to take care of the park. Claire was raised to be a strong woman with a knack for reading and a passion for the outdoors. Claire was my grandma's best friend. She told me stories about how happy her house was and how good her grades were. Nowadays, we learn more about Claire Marie Hodges, not only about her becoming the first female park ranger, but about what happened to her. On her first day on the job, Everything seemed okay at first. Claire took the night shift and was on patrol, looking out for trouble. It was a completely average winter night, or so she thought. On the night of December 18th, 1920, everything changed for Claire. Suddenly, when Claire was on patrol, she heard a loud noise. She turned and ran to investigate. And what she found would destroy her life as she knew it. The body of Oliver Hayes was recovered 12 hours after Claire first sent out for a rescue team. Autopsy showed that he had killed himself by eating poisonous berries located on park grounds. The reason is unknown. I can never imagine the psychological toll finding a dead person in a ditch can have on someone, especially being alone like that. After finding the body, Claire went insane. She started isolating herself from people and not leaving her room. She ended up being sent to St. Joseph's Insane Asylum, where she was treated for nine weeks after attempting her own suicide. She was later sent home, where she died in one month from failure to thrive. Grandmother said it was, it was heartbreaking to watch her go through that. It's just horrible to hear. I hope nothing like that ever happens again. From Claire, we learned a lot about how a traumatic experience can affect someone's psychological health. Scientists were able to research her death in great detail, helping them to develop the scientific term of post-traumatic stress syndrome, and allowing them to come up with ways to help people under the same circumstances. We have Claire to thank for such amazing advancements in the field of psychology.